With 91 seconds on film, I'm Mike Steve. Seems Hollywood nowadays can't pass up a proven winning formula. Yet another superhero picture. Saw? What is it, number five now? Or maybe something that worked previously on the small screen. It's the latter of these formulas that seem to work the least well, to wit the last Star Trek NG film, and the more recent Sex and the City, and now The X-Files I Want to Believe. While Build as being a standalone film, this isn't necessarily true or a good thing. Most of the issues around which the film revolves, the existence of paranormal phenomena, Scully's crisis of faith, and the Mulder-Scully relationship are retreaded from the TV show. Those not familiar with the series could easily be intrigued, and the story and some plots actually have suspense, moral breadth, and more than a little shock value, always important for this franchise, and the acting is pretty good. The film also benefits from a return to British Columbia for filming. The question, though, is just how many people not invested in the characters and their past travails are going to pay the admission, and it's not really that good. It remains a question as to why the X-Files I want to believe is the way that it is because Chris Carter and company are out of ideas, or whether they really think there's a new generation of moviegoers out there who need to be schooled in generic X-Files legend. For the vast majority of those buying a ticket and who followed the show from its glory days, the film represented an opportunity to breathe new life into the franchise with new conspiracies, horrors, or despicable characters. Instead, they settled for what would have passed as a B-plus two- or three-part episode in the less than stellar last two seasons of the series and that's a shame with 91 seconds on film i'm mike c 91 seconds on film is heard thursdays and saturdays at 2:20, friday mornings at 9:20, 20 things at 9:20, and friday afternoon at 5:20.